things are already bad. Uh, we've raised the temperature of the earth a degree and a half Celsius. We're seeing catastrophic results. The hurricane that hit Jamaica a few weeks ago featured 600 feet above sea level winds at 252 miles an hour, the highest we've ever registered. So the things that scientists have been worrying about for 40 years are coming true. But we do finally have a scalable, affordable way, weapon to go after some of this. And that's the sudden remarkable spike in energy, what we used to call alternative energy, energy from the sun and wind, that's now the obvious common sense, straightforward path ahead. 90% uh, of new electric generation around the world last year came from sun and wind and batteries. This isn't alternative anymore. It's all of a sudden uh, uh, the most obvious way to proceed. And that's because four or five years ago, we crossed some invisible line where it became cheaper to produce power from the sun and the wind than it did from burning coal and gas and oil. We live on a planet where the cheapest way to make power is to point a sheet of glass at the sun.